for the new world order bishop grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this black Fox news report so yesterday um u.s ambassador to the european union uh gordon sunland uh, this is somebody that actually got his ambassadorship after giving a million dollars to the trump inauguration campaign from being a you know he's a healthy uh, hotel business person and um you know does some real estate and all of that whatever so he got bread and basically essentially brought his way into government right but now he had the uh and uh testify yesterday as far as the as part of the fifth day of televised impeachment hearing proceedings and he basically put the nail in the coffin for this for any fucking body that is doubting that anything went wrong or whatever but basically said yes to well not even basically he literally said yes to whether the trump had actually did the uh participate in a quid pro quo in dealing with ukraine um as far as like him holding the nearly 400 million dollars in military aid and conditioning a meeting in the oval office on whether uh ukrainian president will make an announcement that they will open an investigation into the bidens and he also said that uh, mike pence uh, the vice president and uh, Mike Pompeo, the secretary of the state, were complicit and basically uh, knew about uh, what was going on as far as this uh, this condition being happening and part of uh, Trump getting reelected. So that's what's going down. Now, will it mean anything? Will it mean anything is the real question because it shouldn't have really taken all of this shit just to even put this nail in the coffin. Everybody that's going up there is basically just saying what it is. Green war on graduation. The new world door, the Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. Make sure y'all sign that petition, y'all. Get Donald Trump off Twitter. Find the change.org link in the video description if you're watching this on YouTube. Or go straight to change.org and look up Get Donald Trump off Twitter, where I, Bishop Grady, D Dollar Sign Hip Grady, lay out exactly why you should be removed from that platform. Now, um, we're irrefutable evidence too, so don't, you know, read it before you start hating, motherfucker. Now, check this out. Over in, um, this immigration shit is getting out of control because in southern Mexico, well, we already know that the national, they have their national guards, um, actually, you know, trying to stop migration into the U.S., uh, so they're occupying the southern border or whatever, but there were 62 migrants that were actually freed by the national guard, uh, from, um, this, the back of this truck where they were struggling to breathe, actually, possibly trying to get into the U.S. or, you know, definitely not trying to get into Mexico, I doubt it. Most of them were Guatemalan, actually, so this actually, um, uh, they all ended up going to being taken to like a local immigration jail while the um, truck driver was actually arrested by police. So, Green World graduation. What other new world though? The Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. Hey yo, shout out to uh, Scott Warman. This is a person, he's actually a member of uh, the group uh, No Mas Muertes or No More Deaths uh, that have actually been uh, helping and giving aid to uh, migrants that have been crossing uh, into America and uh, specifically along the um, and through the Sonoran Desert in uh, Tucson, Arizona, and he actually been charged with two felony counts of harboring migrants after giving like providing food and shelter to uh, a 23-year-old El Salvadoran male and a 20-year-old uh, uh, Honduran male. Now he uh, was acquitted of these charges after a lot of um well for he had one trial that ended in a hung jury and then they tried him again and he was been acquitted of these charges so he was facing up to 10 years you know what i mean for being a hum fucking humanitarian like give me a break y'all but shout out at least he, he got off you know what i'm saying justice has seemingly been served green war and graduate of the new world though the bishop great let y'all know what the fuck going on for this black fox news report so uh i told y'all about scott warmer getting off you know what i'm saying like he got acquitted and really shouldn't have been on trial in the first place but that's whatever but then in tucson arizona a federal judge actually gave uh, arizona border patrol agent matthew bowen uh three years of supervised release and an eight thousand dollar fine for basically using his pickup truck in 2017 to run over a fucking migrant um anthony uh uh Lortalino, Lopez Aguila. Uh, this is uh, the migrant that was actually run over. He actually survived that shit, but basically to get probation in a, in a, a, a eight thousand dollar fine is nothing to sneeze, sneeze at for somebody like that's a border patrol agent. But still though, that's uh, he don't get no jail time. Like that's that's not a criminal charge. 
I don't know, man. New World on graduation. Before the other New World, though, that bitch was crazy. Let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox movie before. Make sure you sign that petition. Get Donald Trump on Twitter. I'm gonna change out all link in the video description if you're watching this on YouTube, man. Uh, yesterday, actually, um, there were uh, Syrian forces had launched uh, attacks and missiles at Idlib in Syria, the last rebel-controlled region, and um, and this was uh, actually backed by Russia. Now. Unfortunately, uh, there's a aid group out there called the White Helmets that reported that these uh, were actually cluster bombs and they hit a camp that was there for internally displaced uh, people as well as um, they had also uh, hurt a lot of medical workers who were at a maternity hospital. So uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, and then um, it just seems like it's a lot going on in Syria because overnight Tuesday, Israel had actually launched missiles on the outskirts of uh, the capital of Syria, which is Damascus. And they actually had basically laid it out to where there were people, they were aiming at uh, certain Syrian military targets, as well as um, buildings that were housing Iran's Quds force, which has people in fear that there's a conflict or going to be an all out back and forth between Iran and Israel. Green wall and graduation. The other new world order bishop crazy letting y'all know what the fuck going on with this black fox news report over in israel they're actually about to have another a third national election uh the third one of this year um because uh benny gantz the uh, former army chief who actually got one enough votes uh, one more vote uh than uh benjamin netanyahu for the prime minister seat earlier this year actually didn't could not form a coalition government so as a result, they have, um, they'll have to have another national election because back in September, they couldn't, uh, neither party could get a majority of uh, the uh, votes in the seats of parliament. And then um, even back in April, uh, this is after April, there was actually no clear winner in that. So even though I said Benny Gantz had won, he didn't win by a, a crazy enough margin. So, you know, they're gonna have another national election and they gotta get it together, man. Green war and graduation. Uh, the New World Order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So at the United Nations, the UN Security Council, uh, 14 other members, member countries of the United Nations Security Council actually rebuked um, Mike Pompeo's or the, the official U.S.'s stance on Israeli settlements in the Occupy West Bank with, as illegal. Um, well, you know, Mike Pence, uh, Mike uh, Pompeo, pardon me, actually said that they were, uh, they, they no longer, we no longer consider them illegal. But the reality is they are, and um, especially by uh, other countries. Now you had Karen, Karen Pierce, who actually spoke on behalf, she's the ambassador to the United Kingdom, but spoke on behalf of France, Belgium, uh, Germany, and of course the UK. And basically saying that they, they, they still hold their same views. It's still illegal, uh, I'm paraphrasing obviously, and that um, this actually erodes the, the viability of a two-state solution and goes against the uh, peace plan that the United Nations has set in place under the United Nations Security Council Resolution 2334. So, you know, the U.S. just seems real out of pocket and real thirsty to, uh, you know, slob on Israel's knob. Green war on graduation. Streets report of the New World Order, Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. It's a little dark, but you know, stay with me, man. I know y'all can hear me, though. The uh, United Nations Environment Program published a report basically saying that nations are planning to burn more carbon, oil, and gas uh, than, well, they're going to burn enough that will push us over a global temperature rise of 2 degrees Celsius by 2030, uh, which would spell a climate catastrophe. So it was understood that it, there's a certain amount of uh, carbon, oil, and gas that could be burnt globally to keep us under that 2 degrees Celsius temperature rise that would actually protect the environment protect the it it'd give us a fighting chance but we're actually planning as nations are planning to burn 50 percent more than that so it's putting everybody in with attribute but you know that's the usual you know how capitalism works green war and graduate streets report of the new world order bishop grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this black fox news report over in australia in sydney australia specifically they actually issued a warning to uh, young people, to the elders, and to anybody with respiratory illnesses, basically to stay the fuck in the house. Because there's like these thick blankets of smoke that are actually coming uh, over the city of five million pe residents 
due to the raging wildfires that have been going on across the continent for the past several weeks now with the uh fires there's actually today um fires going on in uh queensland and victoria but these wildfires have been caused from this crazy heat wave that's hit the continent i mean you're talking about um in melbourne for example yesterday they reached a uh, november record high for temperatures yesterday um in new south wales it hit 110 degrees fahrenheit so it's like it's real over there and um these wildfires have been uh, putting a lot of smoke in the air, so green wall on graduation. Streets reporter of the New World Order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Cross News report. So, over uh, North Dakota's uh, Department of Environmental Quality actually admitted that, remember that oil spill I told y'all about last, last month? This was actually um, uh, October 29th specifically, where the Keystone XL pipeline um, that's owned by uh, TC Energy Corporation formerly known as Trans Canada, had actually had this spill of, you know, some thousands of gallons of uh, oil that uh, in, over these wetlands. Turns out that they actually, the spill was actually 10 times larger than initially reported. The official uh, spill is about 380,000 gallons. Now, this is exactly what people had warned against and tried to fight against. Mind you, there were people, there was actually a death um, at one of these uh, protests going against the Keystone XL pipeline and now you see that this shit is happening and this is exactly what people try to do protect their land and it's now fouled up by this oil so NTC Energy is still trying to get the oil flow going as early as Sunday so you know they don't give a fuck really like it's foul man green war on graduation you know I Streets report out of the New World Order, Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. Over in Port de Prince, Haiti, hundreds of people were taken to the streets uh, in, the cap in the nation's capital, trying to get a call for the resignation of President Jovenel Moise. Now, there's been two months of anti-government protests, at least two. I've been to at least telling y'all about where they basically want dude out of there. They're suspecting them of corruption, mismanagement of the economy, and all of that. I mean, you had some protesters out there complaining that there's no roads, no water, no nothing. Like, it's so shit is really bad over there, you know. But keep in mind, like 40 people have actually been killed throughout these protests over the past couple of months. So shit is real over there as well. Green war on graduation. Streets reporter of the New World Order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. The Duke of York in Britain, uh, Prince Andrew, he actually said he's going to resign amid the uh, uh, mountain frustration with him and his relationship with Jeff Epstein. Um, there's actually a woman, um, well, first off, this came about after a BBC interview uh, this past weekend where he was getting grilled about his relationship with them and uh, with Epstein. Uh, Epstein, for those who don't know, Jeffrey Epstein, being a uh, billionaire serial sex abuser, who recently was found uh, deceased while in a uh, federal prison in Manhattan. Um, found to have hung himself, but you know, there's suspicion around that because his neck was broken. You know, they feel like, you know, your neck is not gonna break from hanging yourself in prison. So, you know, that's what, that's that. But um, nevertheless, there's a, a Virginia, um, Jew, Jew free who uh, Roberts, Virginia Roberts Jupiter, who actually said that uh, he, Epstein had basically gave her to him uh, when, it, when she was 17 years old. And he denied, uh, Prince Andrew denied knowing her in this interview as well. But the reality is there's pictures around there that is surfacing with him holding her bare stomach. And also in the picture is Ghislaine Maxwell, which was Epstein's uh, confidant. So, Green War on graduation. Streets reporter of the New World Order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. Hey, yo, rest in peace to the activists, the Somalian activists, um, 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 Now, Shorty was actually shot and killed while she was driving through the capital of Somalia, Mogadishu. And, um, you know, keep in mind that she comes from a family of Somali exiles who well, actually had fled to Canada and came back to Somalia in 2010. Um, she, you know, she was a fighter for women's rights, um, children's rehabilitation and other social justice issues. And uh, also, she was the daughter of a prominent activist, um, Elman Ali Ahmed, who actually was killed 
it was he was assassinated in Mogadishu as well back in 96 so you know this definitely seems like something that might have been uh premeditated you dig but you know rest in peace uh, rest in power to her man green war and graduate Streets report of the New World Order, Bishop Grady Lake, you know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So over in the Mediterranean island of Malta, um, they, uh, police actually arrested uh, Maltese businessman uh, Jorgen Finesh on his yacht, actually, while he was actually sailing out yesterday. Now, they arrested him because they found the link between him and the uh, car bomb uh, homicide of uh, investigative journalist Daphne Caruana Galizia. This is a woman who was actually killed a couple of years ago. For um, and you know she used to as an investigative journalist, she was investigating corruption at the highest levels of the Maltese government. You know what I mean? Tax evasion, uh, money laundering, nepotism, and things of that nature. And at the time when she was murdered, she was actually investigating Vanessa's money. So. There was hundreds of people that were out there yesterday outside of parliament uh, protesting, calling for the resignation of the prime minister. And um, even uh, they surrounded the car, the justice minister, and was holding up uh, pictures of Daphne. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, people are outraged and rightfully fucking so. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep reporting on, on stuff like this. We got to, as um, journalists and, and, and news workers and reporters, we got to look out for each other because shit is real and power is trying to uh, absolute power is trying to corrupt absolutely you know what i'm saying you got people in positions in the highest positions of the land in all of these different lands across the world that are working arduously to actually keep their power and therefore there's a resulting war on journalism so we got to speak up about this so there can't be any casualties like this in our backyard you dig what i'm saying black fox news we're gonna keep representing for y'all signing out green war and graduate